folks, welcome back. See my hard hat? Oil. I love oil. John Pettibar recording now at 8.31 in the morning on Wednesday morning, which is the 17th day of November. Oil. You heard of Talking Turkey? Christmas is coming up. You hear a lot in the news about Talking Turkey. There'll be enough turkeys. Well, that's, uh, there's going to be enough turkeys. They've been, the industry's been preparing them up. But is there enough oil? So we're going to talk oil this morning. I love oil. We about uh, two weeks ago today, actually. They had uh, three weeks ago today, actually. Three weeks ago today. Good to 12. One, two, three. They had the former Saudi Arabian oil minister on. He was being interviewed in CNBC in New York. And he was the Brian Sullivan host. I watch it every morning, Monday to Friday. And he said, it remarkable what's uh, been happening in the oil market. Coal prices have doubled in Europe. Uh, uh, LNG has gone up seven eight fold it's about thirty five forty dollars in in mainland continent Europe England they don't have a bit of reserves LNG it's liquefied natural gas you take a you take a six hundred cubic foot of natural gas and you can cool, chill it down you make it into one cubic foot so about the size of a I'll show you here about the size of this uh, garbage can you take a so six hundred cubic foot of natural gas fill up my office and you put it into a compressed liquid form. In fact, I've seen a liquefied natural gas tanker one time. It looked like a Newfoundland bread, triple, triple, oh, de trois, triple loaf, one, two, three again, triple uh, big buns on top of the tanker. It was in, in Port and Halifax back in the early 80s. And they in a big special boats. And it, it's wonderful. But there's no pipelines. They can take a, a area that has a lot of natural gas, compress it, bring it in a part of the world that needs energy, be it Japan, India, Europe, and so on. And so it's a, it's a great business, it's a great industry, and it's a, it's a great fuel. Anyhow, back to oil. So Brian Sullivan said to the guy, the LNG going up, as I say, for $35, $40 $40 per thousand, uh, price, uh, price of natural gas in the United States, which is often referred to as the Saudi Arabia of, of natural gas, has doubled from about $3 up to roughly $6, $580, $590, $6. Doubled. Uh, under under uh, my... Hero, we had the very low energy prices, high American oil production. Mr. Donald J. Trump, he had his first term, and he's coming back in 2024. He'll have his second term. Anyway, to take in the meantime, we got <laughs> Sleepy Joe. Then our word ends with N. The word starts with S. I'll, I'll mention it in the program. Anyway, price of price of diesel and and gasoline has damn near doubled in the last uh, 10 months okay damn near doubled what cost uh, what cost two dollars is costing four dollars and even more in canada because the taxes are even higher anyway the saudi arabian oil minister said to brian sullivan brian said remarkable what's happening in the in the in the energy industry and in which the the former Saudi oil minister is a great guy, great guy to see interviewed. He took and made a comment. He said, remarkable but predictable. That was his comment. Remarkable but predictable. And that is a fact. Okay. And he said, also made a comment which I loved and is very true. All of us in life, no matter what we do, there's nothing more important than resilience and persistence. Resilience and persistence basically the same thing, but resilience, the ability to uh, have something go off track and keep on going, okay? So he made a wonderful comment. He said, the energy industry is remarkably, is, an, is very efficient. His quote was, the energy industry is very resilient. The energy industry is very resilient. And he also made a third comment, green. All those ones out there that talk about green energy. Well, boy, oh boy, there's a place for winds, uh, wind power. There's a place for solar power. But that said, you want electricity in demand, okay? You want electricity in demand. You want heat. It's, a, it's one of the cooler morning. We had a beautiful fall here in Nova Scotia. I'm recording from Nova Scotia. Not a bit of frost in December and October. I never, don't think I've ever seen that in my life that I remember. And I have a good memory. But we have frost now since the last few weeks. But that's how we expect. It's November. We're halfway through the, the fall, hidden in the winter, a, a month from uh, Saturday. That said, we need heat. People want heat in the man. They want electricity in the man for lights and so on. And... Uh, 
energy for the stove. So one of the famous guys told me one day, he said, all these environmentalists, I call them disgusting sand suckers. Okay, all these environmentalists, disgusting sand suckers. That's, a, that's my new term, so S besides Sleepy Joe. Anyway, they, he said, they'll damn well change their tone when the wind's not blowing or the sun's not out there. So to s sum up, he said of green energy, it's not years away. Green energy is not years away, but decades. Not years away, but decades. And one more thing, and a, a wonderful interview I seen yesterday morning, and the lady, so actually noon hour, went over to have lunch, and uh, the lady was on, and she made the comment, for the first time in modern history, in 2022, it looks in all probability like oil demand will exceed production. I'm going to repeat that. For the first time in modern history, oil demand in 2022 will exceed production. That's a tight energy market. So all those disgusting environmental sand suckers out there, boy, oh boy. If you agree with them, you don't want to have your cell phone recharged. You don't want to have the benefit of electricity. You don't want to have the benefit of heat and warmth. We need all these things, coal, oil, natural gas, nuclear, all, those are all pro parts for shows another day, programs another day, but I want to point out oil demand in 2022 is expected to exceed production. So it's a tight market. It's a tight market out there. So this morning, we're talking oil. Oil, I love it. We're talking oil. With, share, the, share the video far and wide. Promote a discussion. And when some sand sucker comes along, environmentalists tell you, they don't like this. I've seen an interview. I'm just going to digress here a second. The interview uh, was out of this uh, COP26 in Glasgow, Scotland, up in the Highlands. And the lady was interviewing the guy, and he said, I don't like coal. No. Oil. No. Forget about it. Leave it in the ground. I heard some fool in Newfoundland this morning in the legislature saying, leave it in the ground. Then the federal government's supposed to subsidize them for the money to get arrested. Come on. That, that, that's, I've never heard so much stupid talk in energy in my life as I've been here in the last really accelerated last year, accelerated last year or so. Didn't, so I didn't like coal again. Didn't like oil. Natural gas. Don't go there. Nuclear? No, no, no. So finally the interviewer, a very intelligent lady, she looked at the dude being interviewed, Mr. Nodal, smart-ass, academic environmentalist, and she said to him, well, what's the solution? How do we enjoy the benefits of modern society? Oh, it's wind and solar. Now, interestingly, one of the reasons that... LNG has gone up so much in Europe is because the wind didn't blow like they expected in the North Sea. There's huge wind installations off of England and off of Holland and Denmark and the North Sea and the Euro European side of the English Channel. And uh, the sun didn't shine enough. Okay, so the solar production was down. So they're all just a place for wind and solar. That's, that's all fine and dandy. But man, oh man. <laughs> You're not going to get by with oil. And if any, if any disgusting sand sucker tells you environmental still you want to rise, tell them words I'm not going to say this morning, but you can give them a finger. With that, i got to go. Thank you very much. I hope you all had a good breakfast by now. Share the video far and wide. Press the subscribe button. We're doing great in this friend too. Press the subscribe button and again, share far and wide. All the best. God bless. Thank you.